Holy crap, everyone. Welcome back to another Let's Play. We are going to do Doki Doki Literature Club in 4K, which I really don't know what that means. The recording should be in 4K. The game, eh. I mean, it's, it's a... It looks like one of those, like, Flash games. I can't... No, it has a... Is it a Flash game? I'm not sure. Anyway, um, this game is developed by Team Salvato, which are, they're like an indie group that does like a bunch of flashlight games, or flash looking games. Um, the team only, this game particularly has three people, Dan Salvato, who does writing, coding, and music, Satchley, who does character art, and Valenquins, who does the background art. Um, for some reason this game warns on the website, this game is not suitable for children who, or those who are easily disturbed. What? That's a weird warning. I mean, the, the phrasing of that is weird. I I mean, you could just say it's not suitable for immature audiences. I mean, that would have done the trick. Um, for you guys who want to play this game, this game is free, available on their website at ddlc.mo. So, yeah, go check it out. It's available for Windows, Linux, and Apple. Or, Mac OS. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and start this son of a son of a... What's, what is my name? My name is... Cyclone Chan. Yay! Shwan! Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to anything she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. I don't see anything. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you know each other for so for so long. Man, I'm doing a shitty job with this today. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I'd get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me at, like after this, I, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> I overslept again! But I caught you this time! Uh, maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you said that like you were thinking about ignoring me! That's me, Cyclone Chan. Well, if people share, stare at you for acting weird, they don't want them to think that we're a couple or something. Uh, okay. Oh, I read the wrong one. Oh, whatever. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have to be a mean if you, even if you don't want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Cyclone Chan, have you decided to on a club to join yet? A club? I told you, Ray, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm, I'm sure it's possible I did. In one of her many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Terry likes to worry a little too much about me, but I'm perfectly content just getting on by the a on the average. Well, by on the average? That doesn't sound right. While spending my free time on games and anime. Man, I like, I like me. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I was worried that you would, won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I died at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years just because you're not used to all the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Uh, more than that, I'm surprised I even I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. 
The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Terry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori. Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought... <coughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know... Know what? Oh, well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, yeah, meanie. Sorry is vice president of the literature club. Not that I ever was aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show up interest after the one who proposed the club, she was inherited the title Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is geared to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so, Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell Sayori this is really much of an airhead. Or she's so kind that I, to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop fighting for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go. Oh god. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third-year classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member's here! I told you, don't call me a new member! Shit! Eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. See, see, you bad boy! Why are you gonna kill the atmosphere?! Ah, Cyclochan, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Hmm. All words escape me in this situation. This club. It's full of incredibly cute girls! What are you looking at?! If you want to say something, say it! Uh, sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me th probably think she's a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just, ig you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Always full of energy. This is Yuri. She's the smartest in the club. Don't, don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with the people like Sayori and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It sounds like Yuri no Maka, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Cyclone Chan. I can't do four female voices, I apologize. I, they're gonna sound pretty freaking similar. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Mako is probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic, sexual... Basically, completely out of my league. Having her smile at me so generally feels a little, uh... uh you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Cyclone Chan. We're about, we made room with you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. Oh, I gotta make a choice. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them! Sorry, I get a little too excited. And how about we make some tea as well? The girls have few, a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sorry mentioned, it's been widened so there be is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room. 
where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Aki, are you ready? Ta-da! Natsuki fills the f lifts a foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh! Well, you know! Just hurry and take one! I just realized I made her into Toad. Ah, oh, whatever. Terry grabs the first one, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Terry uh, talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turn a cupcake around my fingers, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. And with that bite, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode. Um, thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. Um, and we'll continue this next time. Bye!